welcome back to my channel and today in this video I am going to integrate the medium editor inside our ad stories form so that we can have some basic styling going into the description of the story okay now this is what we are trying to achieve this is the editor and whenever I select anything I will have this ability to sort certain things like italics underline bold and all those kinds of things. so yes this is the editor which we will integrate so the first thing that I will do is install it okay and after doing that what we need to do is we need the JS and we need these two CSS files as well the core is important because it gives you the uh, toolbar and basic styling and the black uh, this black thing is the default theme which we will pick up okay so while this is getting loaded we'll go into our um, resources js app.js we haven't done any javascript yet and right now i'm not going to go deep into the javascript part because we will be doing react and by default we get view when you install laravel so what i'm planning to do is there is something called presets in laravel which allows you to you know set which preset you want now i'll just show you the command so that you have some idea swap the front end scaffolding for the application so preset takes a name the framework name and it will populate the the necessary files so what we are going to do is say preset react and you will automatically see that a lot of code has changed okay there should be some changes in package.json as well right so everything from view has been removed by react dom react all those things which are required for react and we had an error i think i need to load that again no so the preset is here i need to do an npm install once that is done maybe you know i'll come back because it can take a little bit of time all right so my dependencies are downloaded and we have the js set up with react however any code that we do in this video is nothing to do with react it's plain javascript uh, nothing which requires any java uh, react js knowledge so as i told you we will need the medium editor because this is how we initialize so let's see inside my app.js i can do something like this provided i'm importing the library okay once this is done we will also need to take care of the uh, CSS so as I told you these are the two files right so we will do require then dist CSS Okay, so the build is working, which means these files are 
at present and I am able to load it. So editable is the class which my you know, medium editor will be looking for. We'll go into our story add. We'll comment it out. Let's keep um, this one here. Okay, I don't need to comment it out. What I will do is rather remove the form control class and add the editable class. Okay, so what this will result in is a text area which will be removed and we will have a div instead. So let's see. Okay, we have this. Let me open up my console. No errors as of now. Right. So we have the basic you know, editor in place and it is giving me the toolbar. Let me post some content. Some dummy content in here. Okay. Add some paragraph. Story added through the new editor. Now we will hit save and right. So we have you know, the data which is being sent to the database. However, the rendering is a problem. This is happening because if we go to our story view blade, right, we are showing everything in a p tag. So the first thing which we are going to do is create a div, do this. However, this will not solve the problem as well. The basic idea is when ever we want to render HTML inside our blade, you know, if you, if you know that any variable which is coming from the database has certain HTML which you need to render, then you need to have this syntax where you have two exclamations at the start and two exclamations before the closing brackets. So once I do this, we have you know, this nicely formatted and HTML wise um, uh, story. Okay, I forgot to add certain bold tags and things like that so that we can ensure that things are working properly. So let's say this is our story. I'll have this as bold and this as italics underline shortcuts work as well for example i can do con command b on mac or i think control b on windows and it will allow me to do italics underline and other stuff it can also allow me to link let's put up a link okay and one more Oops, trial with the editor. Okay. So as you can see, everything here rendered exactly how we wanted it to. Okay. And generally, that's the way to go about you know, adding an editor there are a lot of configurations which you can go through i think if you go to the github repository or even here yes there are a lot of configurations available for the toolbar including you know which buttons you want to show and you know what is the a position where the toolbar should come and all those things so you should definitely check these out and if you want you can configure them accordingly however this is the basic implementation of the editor so that we can have some basic 
you know um, formatting going on in our stories i'll add some basic styling as well um, i have already done that i'm showing you this video on a, a particular commit however let me see if i uh, reset everything and do git checkout master you will see that i have done a little bit of formatting so that it looks very similar so i'll copy this paste it here and you can see i have tried to match the styling as close to the normal form elements so that we don't have something you know uh, th there a certain you know difference in uh, the elements which we are using however the functionality still remains there yeah so yeah do check out uh, this new you know, editor invariably we will be shifting this entire form to react.js however right now we have just done a simple javascript implementation and we can definitely extend this inside our react component as well when we do it uh, because you know in the end it's just simple javascript thanks for watching guys i just implemented this um, editor and i was quite excited to share my uh, experience with you and hence you know this video so if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel